Hey guys, want to make a quick and easy recipe? Try my moist banana nut bread. Oh yeah, moist banana nut bread made Shella's creations way. So come along on this step-by-step, -step, easy, moist, this banana nut bread. These are the ingredients. Let's get into this video. Oh yeah. All right, so let's get started. These are the ingredients. We have our bananas. We have our walnuts, eggs, vanilla, cooking oil. We also have, if you see there, we have some pecan pie filling that was left over from when I did my pecan pies. We got the two sticks of butter or margarine, and we have sugar. So, um, Let's take a look at the ingredients. These are the ingredients that we'll be using in this recipe. We'll take these two sticks of butter and we're gonna melt them in the microwave for about two minutes. And then once we melt them in the microwave for about two minutes, we'll let them cool a little bit. Um, Cause we don't wanna put them hot in our mix once we get ready to um, do our butter or margarine. So yeah, we're gonna put those in the microwave again for two minutes. The oven is already preheated at 350. Again, the oven is already preheated at 350. We're gonna get our masher out. We're gonna go ahead and mash up our bananas. We have four ripened bananas. We're going to mash them just like you're mashing potatoes. We're just gonna mash them up really good. And then once we're done mashing them up, we'll start adding our ingredients in the bowl with the mashed bananas. And now we have about six eggs and we're going to go ahead and get those eggs cracked in the bowl with the bananas. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start mixing the eggs up with our egg beater. Y'all have seen it because I use it for mixing and it's very, very handy. So we're gonna just mix this up. Everything's gonna happen in this bowl, you guys. Everything's gonna happen in that one bowl. All right, we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. One, two. And mix that up. Our butter has already stopped in the microwave. They're sitting on the side. Here it is right here. So we'll add those in just a few. And again, that was two sticks of melted butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the reserve pecan filling that I had left over from when I made my pecan pies. So that's about a cup 
and a half of the pecan pie filling, which consists of eggs, brown sugar, corn syrup, and butter. So we're going to make sure we get all of that out of the out of the cup. That's going to also add uh, a replacement of me adding in brown sugar because this contains the brown sugar. So if you guys don't have any leftover pie filling like I did, I'm, I'm not going to waste it. Um, you guys can just put in uh, one cup of packed brown sugar. And that will that will make up the difference um, because again, this was the mixture for uh, my pecan pie. So you know that's already sweetened with corn syrup and um, your brown sugar. So now we're just gonna stir and make sure that's all mixed in there really good. That mixture also contained butter, if I didn't say so earlier. Now we're gonna add uh, some chopped walnuts. Now these are uh, walnut halves and some pieces. I'm gonna be using the halves and the pieces along with the chopped finer walnuts. And you'll see how I do it right here. So if you're wanting to do the nuts, you can add one and a half to two cups of nuts. One and a half to two cups of nuts. And now we're gonna mix that together. Make sure the nuts are incorporated in our bread. Now we're gonna add one cup of sugar. And three quarter cup of sugar. So a total of one and three quarter cup of sugar. And we'll make sure we mix that in as well. So after each ingredient you add, just make sure you're mixing it. And now we're gonna add our two sticks of melted butter or margarine but we're gonna add that now. Now 
make sure to get it all stirred in. And now we're going to be adding a uh, four cups of flour. And this is self-rising flour. We're going to add four cups. And as you're adding it, add a little at a time, stir, add a little at a time, stir, add a little at a time, stir until it's all incorporated into your batter for your bread. And as y'all can see, I love doing it the old fashioned way. It's really, really relaxing for me to just stir it with my hands. If you guys don't want to, feel free to use a mixer. And once we get all that mixed in, we're going to add milk. And we're going to add a total of two cups of milk. Now I'm going to take the and do a cup of each, and I'm going to add it into my larger um, four cupper. So that's one cup, and this is the second cup. So we're going to be doing a total of two cups. And as you see me stirring it up, I will be adding the milk, gradually adding the milk. So you're pretty much just folding the milk into your batter until you're two cups have been added. My method of how I do my batters may not be conventional, but it's Shella's Creations way. And this is how you get the moistest banana nut bread. So again, follow my instructions, my step-by-step, -step, quick and easy tips, and you'll have one of the best moistest banana nut breads and subscribe to my channel.
Yes, subscribe. Hit that red button and make it turn gray today. We're going to just take that spatula and get all the sides. Just to make sure there's nothing left on the sides. And this is the consistency you want to see. This is the consistency. There was a little butter left in the bowl, so I just poured a little butter that was left in the bowl in the batter. Next, we're gonna get our cooking oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever kind of oil you wanna use. And we are going to um, oil our pans. Now, what I normally do is I just pour about a quarter cup of oil in one pan, and then I just take the oil and go to the each individual pans. So that's what you'll see me doing. I'll be taking the oil and just making sure that it is all around in all four or five of the pans. This batter that we're making will probably make about four pans of uh, bread pudding. I'm going to oil up five pans because on the fifth pan, I'm going to actually be uh, doing another recipe so you'll see me oil up a fifth pan but we'll be doing a total of four banana nut bread loaves and they'll they won't be the the tall large loaves um we're just gonna be making four uh small loaves and when i start putting the batter in the pans i'll put it about halfway halfway full halfway so yeah we're just making sure that the pans get all oiled and once we put the batter in there we'll put it all four in the oven at the same time and again we'll bake them at 350 degrees for an hour again we'll bake them at 350 degrees for an hour or until you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean I me mean, there's no dough but you can pretty much be able to fill the top of your um, banana nut bread and tell that it is done by the firmness but one hour is sufficient to bake these in the oven So now that I have them in the pans, you see how much I've put in each one. And now they are out of the oven. They baked for an hour at 350. And look at that banana nut bread. Mm mm, good. So again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and become family with me. P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shola's Creations Way is where I prepared this. And P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Eating Good in Neighborhood, is where y'all gonna see us mukbang this thing. So come on and subscribe and become our family today. Oh.